Hi, my name is Mangan Urdal. I'm a captain instructor on ATI aircraft. This video describes the various oil alerts you can hear in the cockpit of an ATR. It will be useful for initial training as well as for repetition because some of the orders should never be heard during normal operations. But when it happens, you must know what they mean and what you should do. At the end of this video, there's a quiz where you can test yourself. With a couple of exemptions, the oral alerts are processed by the CICAS, the Centralized Crew Alert System, or the FWS, the Flight Warning System, depending on ATA variant. Only one alert can sound at a time. In case more than one alert is triggered at the same time, they are arranged in the following priority order. The stall warning is triggered when a certain angle of attack is reached. The airplane is still flying, but you are too close to stall for comfort. Your actions are push, increase power, if zero flap, set flap 15, level the wings. You must know this procedure by heart. And don't forget the notes in the checklist. You must remember them too. Note, if the autopilot was engaged when the stall alert was triggered, the autopilot will disconnect, but you will not hear the disconnect alert as long as the stall alert is activated. Also, when the autopilot disconnects, the airplane is trimmed to fly with a high angle of attack. Therefore, you must push hard to reduce the angle of attack and then trim the nose down. The overspeed clacker is triggered when you exceed VMO, MMO, VFE or VLE. Note, the overspeed alert for the flaps is triggered at VFE minus 5 knots. And second note, VLE is maximum speed with the landing gear drawn and locked. The speed limits for extension and retraction are less and there is no alert when the landing gear is in transit. Your action is to reduce the speed. Reduce power, and if you are descending, disconnect the autopilot and rise the nose gently up to the horizon. The CRC tells you that something is seriously wrong and that immediate action is required. Your first action is to push the master warning light to silence the oral. You read the message on the cap or the FWS, depending on ATA variant. Most of the warnings require the crew to perform actions by memory. The pitch trim ruler sounds when the pitch trim is running for more than one second. Normally, no action is required, but if the oral sounds for more than two or three seconds, you should check your speed and power setting. You might have forgotten to add power after leveling off after a descent. The autopilot can be disconnected manually or automatically in a dozen different ways. The disconnect cavalry charge will sound until you press the autopilot disconnect push button on the control wheel. Therefore, you must be ready to take control at any time you're flying on autopilot. As I mentioned earlier, activation of the stall warning will mute the autopilot disconnect alert. Your action is to fly the airplane. And if the autopilot disconnected for no apparent reason, you should not try to engage it, but investigate why this happened. The three clicks is a subtle oral. When you fly an ILS approach and both ILS receivers are active, you will see a CAT2 message on the ADU or FMA, depending on the ATA version. Below 1200 feet on the radio altimeter, the autopilot will follow the average signal from both receivers, ensuring better accuracy.
If one of the ILS receivers is disconnected, the autopilot is downgraded and you will hear the three clicks. Your action is to check the status of the ILS receivers. And if you fly an ILS Cat 2, you have to go around. In a glass cockpit, the three clicks can also mean low speed or high speed protection. This means that the autopilot will come on a pitch that prevents a too low speed or too high speed. An amber monitor speed or reduced speed label is displayed on the FMA. Your action is to adjust the speed by altering pitch and or power. If the speed changes quickly, you should disconnect the autopilot and make the correction manually. This oral is triggered when you are climbing or descending and passing 1000 feet before you select the altitude. Your action is to call 1000 to go, or similar, depending on the SOP of your company, and check that the selected altitude is correctly set. You should also check that the barometric reference of the altimeter is set to correct q and or standard pressure. The alert will also sound when you are deviating from your selected altitude with more than 250 feet. Your action is to check that this is normal, for example, you're descending on an ILS. The single chime tells you that you have a system failure or that the ice detector has detected accumulation of ice. If there is a system failure, your action is to push the master caution light to silence the oral, read the message on the CAP or the FWS, depending on the variant, and apply the correct procedure for the failure. If there is ice accretion, the procedure is to activate the de-icing systems and do the associated checklist. The doorbell sounds when the cabin crew or the mechanic is calling on the interphone. The bell is silenced by pressing this push button. In addition to orders possessed by the warning systems, the ground proximity warning system and the cockpit or locking system have their own alerts. The ground proximity warning system, GPWS, is also called the terrain awareness warning system, TOES, can issue a lot of alerts. They will be covered by a separate video. The cockpit door locking system sounds a loud alarm when the cabin crew press the call push button on the door panel. The alert is similar to the overspeed alert, but louder, just to wake you up. It is silenced by opening the door or by selecting deny. That's all of the alerts. And now it's time for a quiz. First, you will hear the sound. Then you will get three choices and you choose one of them. So write them down. There are nine alerts in all, and after the test, you will see the correct answers. Are you ready? Okay, here we go.
And here are the correct answers. It wasn't that hard, was it? Okay, that's all for this time. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy learning.